So what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to play your Xbox on your Steam Deck. This method is very, very straightforward and easy. Mind you, you do have to pay for this. I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat. Um, but it's only about maybe six or seven dollars depending on like where you stay. Very inexpensive and very straightforward. So let's just get into it. This app is called XB Play. It's in your Steam store. So that way when you go to your library, it'll basically be there. Okay, once you get the app, the app is very, very small. I don't even think it's one gigabyte. So you're gonna get a pop-up that says, don't change the capabilities, where it says, force the use of specific Steam Play capability tool. I got a pop-up that said, do not change this. And I didn't. You don't really have to change much on here. Like even the controls are pretty uh, straightforward as far as like the official and that's what I use. I didn't have to change anything. So once you get it open, you have your remote play, cloud play and your game pad only, which you can use it as a controller. So first you want to log in, you log into your Microsoft account that's connected to your Xbox account. If you get an issue with that, just exit out and log back in. Uh, I just had an issue with that. Uh, where I had to exit out the app and just log back in. As far as your settings, I didn't touch anything. I wanted to leave it normal just to see how it runs. Like I said, it runs perfect. Um, you can select your console, but this will probably already already be picked if your Xbox is like the only Xbox that's on your network. So after you have that logged in, you can go to your remote play. Now, it's best to have your Xbox in rest mode, like when you have it powered down so that way it can wake up and you can wake it up with your with this app as well. So yeah, there it goes. And remote play, it works like very, very cool. Uh, if you guys want to like look at some of the settings and the layout that it has offered, you can even use these to, you know, to move around. Um, though I'm not sure why you'll want to, but it is pretty cool that it's there. I mean, it just makes it look awesome. Now, if you want to use your guide button, your guide button is right here to get that. And over here, you just get some in-app settings, you know, clarity boost, um, game mods, I don't mess with, enable your mic. Um, I like to refresh video, like if you have any issues. Now, mind you, my frames per second on my Steam Deck is set to 60. Um, right now, at 73%, I do have four hours left which is extremely good. I don't, I didn't even change these. This is from a pre previous game that I was looking at. So, I mean, you can change these settings to how you want. I'm sure that this app doesn't consume even like 11 watts. So you can even press this for the guide as well. Um, I'll show you guys some gameplay. So yeah, the gameplay is like really, really, really smooth. Reminds me of uh, Tiaki. But honestly, I think I like this app better because you get so many more options. Once that is there, if you guys want to exit out that and change it, you press side button, go to quit. Okay, next, let's look at gamepad only. Now, gamepad only, you won't pretty much see the screen. To me, it's just like kind of like remote play. If you're just playing on one player, you're just using your using this as a controller with no picture. So it's kind of like, you know, either or. I like to do remote play because I only play uh, one player games as far as I with myself anyway. But it is pretty cool that you can use this option as far as gameplay, gamepad, using it as its own controller. And it works pretty much like flawless, like it's no problems at all. Um, I really love that option though, because it just brings, a, you know, more out of this app. Next, now let's check out Cloud Play. I mean, for the sake of since Fallout is extremely hot right now, let's go to Fallout. So it says you can play it or add to Steam. If I'm not mistaken, if you add it to Steam, you, you most likely have to go to your browser and then open up the Steam app in the browser and then, and then add it. Oh my god. Wow. 
Oh. Let's not go. He's almost, almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. There you go. There. I don't know how long you thought you was going. Oh my goodness gracious! Y'all see that? But that's pretty much it. I don't want this video to be too long. It's pretty straightforward. But if you guys have any questions as far as you know setting it up, or if you have any issues, let me know. Um, if you guys do want an alternative way to play your cloud gaming, at least then let me know because there is a very, very easy way to set that up, which is just doing it from your browser and you can even put your browser to your, um, on your steam and give it artwork. So, you know, it doesn't look crazy and that way it's free, but for an app that's like $6 and what you get out of it, I definitely, 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 definitely recommend this app because it's just pretty much just so straightforward and it runs so smooth. I haven't had any issues. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying positive, staying woke. And on that note, adios, peace.